The Le Floc case sounds like a typically French story. There once was a top-ranking French diplomat, Jean-Francois Parot, who had served in various African postings, Sudan, Djibouti, Burkina Faso. He was then sent to Sofia in Bulgaria, where you sense his duties were not so pressing to prevent him from devoting his free time to writing. It was in this Balkan country that Parot conceived a new character, Nicolas Lefloc, a Parisian police commissioner in pre-revolutionary France. A first book was published in 2000, instantly garnering plaudits and being translated into several languages. There then followed a dozen other adventures featuring the same protagonist, which were promptly adapted for television. Parot is now one of the top-selling French authors worldwide and has retired from diplomatic service after having served as French ambassador to Guinea-Bissau. There are several reasons for his unexpected success. Parot is not only a gifted storyteller, he also has a real talent for portraying and painting in historical backgrounds. The Nicolas Le Floc affair takes place in 1774, in the last days of Louis XV's reign. Quote, the carriage narrowly missed him. Leaping back, he landed with his feet together in a muddy, viscous puddle of melted snow. The splash sent a fall-smelling spray over him, which started dripping from the point of his tricorn hat. He cursed under his breath another good woolen cloak to take to the cleaners. Ever since his youth in Brittany, Nicolas Le Floc, police commissioner in the Châtelet, had preferred practical garments." Unquote. As for his private life, Le Floc enjoys a special link with the ever-so-charming Julie de Lasterieux, who appeals to most people, in particular men. When Julie is murdered, Nicolas faces a new assignment, a secret mission in London. The two plots now intermingle. What if Nicolas was something more than a mere investigator? What if for some reason he would pass for a quite convincing murderer? What if he displayed some unthinkable motives for such a crime? But rest assured, thanks to his colleague, Inspector Bordeaux's effective intervention, Nicolas Le Floc will be ready to feature in another episode of Barrow's Sequence.